We've met the word equivalent before. Remember that we said that two fractions are equivalent if they represent the same number. We're going to define equivalent expressions very much the same way, but there's a little bit of a complication. So two expressions are still equivalent if they represent the same number. But with the added complexity that, you know, if we have a variable expression, what number it represents depends on what number the variable represents. So we're going to say that two expressions are equivalent if they represent the same number, no matter what number the variable represents. So I'm going to give you a simple example of a pair of equivalent expressions. The expressions 3x plus 2 and 2 plus 3x are equivalent. Why? Well, notice that this is addition, and we've just used the commutative property to change the order of the addition. In general, the properties of arithmetic will allow us to rewrite expressions that are equivalent to one another. In fact, that's the main reason that we actually wrote down those properties, because they allow us to write equivalent expressions. Now, how can we tell whether two expressions are equivalent or not? We can know that two expressions are not equivalent if we can find some value of the variables for which they give different values. So for example, suppose we wanted to show that 2x plus 4 minus 3x is not equivalent to 2x plus 3x minus 4. How could we do that? Well, let's pick our favorite number. And I'm going to pick a number that's easy to do arithmetic to. Maybe I'm going to try x equals 1. OK, so we evaluate the first expression. Substituting 1 for x, I have 2 times 1 plus 4 minus 3 times 1. So I'll have 2 plus 4 minus 3. That's 6 minus 3. That's 3. I evaluate the other expression, plugging in 1 for x again. 2 times 1 plus 3 times 1 minus 4. 2 plus 3 minus 4. That's 5 minus 4. That's 1. Since 3 and 1 are different, these are not equivalent. Now, what if we'd made a different choice? Maybe your favorite number is 4 thirds. So you evaluate this expression with x equals 4 thirds. 2 times 4 thirds plus 4 minus 3 times 4 thirds. This might look like a job for our calculator. We have 2 times 4 thirds plus 4 minus 3 times 4 thirds. Uh, let's make that a fraction. That's 8 thirds. On the other hand, 2 times 4 thirds plus 3 times 4 thirds minus 4, 2 times 4 thirds plus 3 times 4 thirds minus 4. Oh, that's 8 thirds again. Now, 8 thirds and 8 thirds are the same number. That does not mean that the expressions are equivalent.
In this case, we just got lucky. You can say that two expressions are not equivalent if you can find one pair of numbers for which they give different values. But just because you can find one pair of numbers for which they give the same value doesn't necessarily mean that they're equivalent. In order to be equivalent, they have to give you the same value for all numbers. In the upcoming videos, we're going to see how to actually show that two expressions really are equivalent. We can't show that they are equivalent just by trying numbers. We can only show that they are not equivalent.